The Federal Population Census is a very important building block in American genealogical research. It gives a snapshot of information on individuals and families at 10-year intervals that can help researchers trace, reconstruct, and build a story of their ancestors' lives. Information on the 1950 census is similar to that on previous censuses. It will give each person's name, age, gender, race, marital status, state or country of birth, relationship to the head of household, and naturalization status if foreign born. Persons over 14 years of age were asked employment questions, such as their occupation, the type of industry in which he or she worked, and the type of employer, such as private employer, government employer, family farm or business, or their own business. Six people on each page answered sample questions for statistical purposes. The statistical questions asked about place of residence one year before, in 1949, the place of birth of parents, and the highest grade of school attended and completed. The sample persons were also asked questions about personal and household income. Males in the sample were asked if they had served in the U.S. Armed Forces during World War I, World War II, or at any other time. The official census day was April 1, 1950. Over 140,000 enumerators conducted the census. These census takers were ordinary people who lived in their communities who could write neatly, do basic math, and talk easily with other people. It was the Census Bureau's goal to finish each enumeration district and cities within two weeks and within 30 days in rural areas. Special attention was paid to making sure that undercounted populations weren't missed, such as babies, travelers, and persons without a fixed address. The 1950 census was the last time an enumerator visited most households by going door to door. With an eye toward the future, self-enumeration was tested in selected Michigan and Ohio counties. In these places, the enumerator gave forms to people to fill out themselves and mail back to the Census Bureau. Native Americans living on reservations were enumerated just like everyone else, but a special supplemental form asked additional questions, such as native name, languages spoken, and degree of Indian blood. The 1950 census is the most recent census available for family history research. As always, use clues found in one record to help locate other records about the same individuals. If you're just beginning, start with the 1950 census and work your way backwards with earlier censuses, 1940, 1930, 1920, and so forth. Best wishes for success in your research.